Hey guys, this is the Smoke here. If you've been following me, then you know that we do YouTube reviews here. But this is going to be a special, special segment where I am going to share with you all of the cigars and treats that I got from IPCPR 2019. This year I got to accompany and work with Adventura Cigars, which is a Dominican brand based in Dominican Republic. I got to try my hands at selling, negotiating. I want to start off by showing you the three releases from Adventura. The Navigator, The Conqueror, and one of my favorites, The Explorer. So because I was on the selling floor working, I didn't get a chance to go by every booth and see all of my cigar industry friends, but I did get a chance to pick up some really cool things. And in those really cool things, are in my two bags of Boveda. So this year they uh, created this really cool event bag for you to put all your treats in. Look at that, it's, it's filled to the max. I used two of these and they're a medium size one year Boveda bag. So let's dive in and see what treats we get. Alright, let's jump right in. First thing up the bag is Blackbird Cigar Company. Can't clip my wings. Perfect mantra. Um, there's about six sticks in this box. I have La Aurora. And I think there might be the anniversary stick. 115 years, guys. That's awesome. Then we have the Maduro. I was literally just telling my girlfriend, Cigar Duchess out of Atlanta, that I needed to uh, organize my sticks. She has inspired me to get up off my butt, unpack my bag, and really get into getting things done. So we have a uh, Nestor. Miranda collection. Now, I have a really good friend over at Drew Stage. I won't say no names, but I was blessed with their really nice packets here. So, what we have here is the Herrera Steli Fat Bottom Betty which is, by the way, a really good stick for whipping the transition in. It's really good tobacco. Still gives you that soft, sweet taste. The Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio, one of my personal favorites. The Dogma, and one of my favorites, and one of the most creamiest, smokiest sticks out there, the Hoya Silver. The first stick I ever smoked, Tobacco Especial, right here. And then I got a couple of acids. Um, I know there's a saying, smoke them if you got them. There is a small part of me that really wants to save these for something special. I have two Liga Provadas, number nine. Come on guys, Toro Oscuro. Let's just take, let's, let's just take a look at what we have here. Look at that, just. That smells wonderful. So it comes in this really nice tube. Isn't that nice? All right, let's see what we have here. We have uh, Quesada Oktoberfest. I don't know what year this is, but this has to be this has to be like 70 by six. This is huge. Guys, I've actually never smoked a 70 gauge. I don't even think I've ever smoked a 60 gauge. So this will be something very, very special to get into. Norteña. We got some Roma Craft here. 
We have more quesada, aka Fonseca. And so, okay, so this is what's really cool. Now, I've been IPCPR twice. I've smoked a lot of sticks. You guys know I post different sticks every day, just about. But the one brand that I've actually never, ever, 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 ever had was Nat Sherman. Now, I know that they own a flagship store in New York City, which is basically ran by Mark Michael Herlock's. But for the first time, I will be indulging in Nat Sherman. So we have the Ipoca. Might totally be screwing it up, but nonetheless, uh, the Reserva. And then we have the Timeless. So probably out of everything that I got, I'm probably really, really excited to get into that. So if you guys have smoked Nat Sherman, let me know what you think. I have a La Bucanera, which by the way is a partnership with Marcel McKay and Mombacho, which I'll get into in a second. Let's see. I have quite a few more Nat Shermans. I have another Herrera Esteli. Sticks falling everywhere. I have a Loco by uh, McKay in a Torrent, which is also responsible for the La Bucanera, and he's part owner of Adventure. Oh, I have a Gorilla 305. I've never heard or had this thing before either. And a Huevo de Oro. Now, I've seen these a lot. I can't wait to smoke this one myself. All right, let's check out the second bag. All right, bag number two. Let's see what we got. All right, there's more humidor bags inside of the humidor bag. So just in case you guys don't know, which I think you should, Bovida basically <laughs> provides you with every size bag for your traveling needs. I literally, when I'm going to the beach or whether I'm going to Vegas, I literally have a bag for everything, for every amount of sticks that you could possibly have. So I have a couple of humidor bags with what some of you probably already know. One of my favorite day-to-day -day go to sticks and that would be Matilde also known as MLB Cigar Ventures guys Enrique is I totally adopted him like he probably knows this but if he doesn't know he's basically my best friend in my head he's one of the sweetest guys I've met and the Matilde Renasser is actually my favorite cigar of his line which is the gray label I've actually haven't had the opportunity to smoke any of the others in his line but I absolutely will be very soon so these are the other three oh look at that more Matilde all right another stick that I've actually never smoked. Ever, 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 ever. Placencia. How many of you guys ever smoked Placencia? I have about three different kind here. I heard it's a really, really, really good stick. I also have a stick from my very good sister of the leaf sweet habana has a spades cigar she's out of atlanta um handmade smells really good i can't wait to try that
Now, okay, special announcement here. <laughs> I am a huge Steve Soccer fan. I don't think that's any secret to anybody that knows me. So I had a couple of goals going into IPCPR. One of those was to eat at White Castles. I failed. I did not make it to White Castles. Secondly, was to visit at least three cigar lounges that I had never been. I think I did that. I think I actually made that happen. And then three was to actually meet Steve Saka. Now, we kind of, whether he remembers or knows, we definitely go back and forth on each other's pictures, which is great, which makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Um, so I did get an opportunity to meet Steve Saka himself. And I also got the opportunity to re-up on some of my favorite sticks. Now, I won't say that they're day-to-day -day sticks because one, I don't see them in LA very often. And then two, they're so good that I think I might just want to take my time. So I have the new Sin Compromiso. I haven't smoked this one. Then the Sobra Mesa, and if you're following me, you know that I did a review on this a few weeks ago. And then I have the, um, I can't pronounce that, but this one right here. <laughs> and the Mi Corrida. Now, I need to get the name on this one, but this is Mi Corrida too, but it has a red label, so. I'm really curious about what this may be. All right, so if you guys are following my Instagram page, you'll know that I went to a members only lounge and smoked the Double Claro by Tabac. So, I got gifted a La Casa del Tabac. Look at this case. This is really, this is uh, this is special right here. This is time capsule. Probably gets really great humidity. And, and honestly, I was told that you could use it more than once. So this is this is actually a really great accessory for a woman who's got one stick, toss it in your bag, ready to go. You don't have to worry about it getting smashed up in a Ziploc bag or anything. So this is really nice. Here we go. It's a lot of stick for this bag. Oh, guys, it's Tatuaje. Tattoo. I actually really like this stick. Really good short smoke. There's a Tobacco's El Trinifador. I think I said that right. Here. Then there's La Atier. Then there's Me Too. I think I said that right. <laughs> That's actually really nice, this tattoo I had. It's actually box press, which is something I'm getting into a lot more now. I'm really enjoying box press cigars. So there's a Crystal Baller Surrogate. And then a classic tatuaje Capa Especial. I like saying Especial, it makes me feel very, very official. Then I have a Tatuaje Limited. I'll be the one to tell you at least 90% of the ones I'm holding my hand I've actually never had. But I am a fan of Tatuaje. I don't see them as often. I don't see, I don't see the variety of Tatuaje in LA very often, or at least not the places that I smoke. So this is gonna be really exciting. And guys, can I get a drum roll? for Saga. You guys, I know, you guys, you know I love my girl, Nierka. Okay, she's one of the sweetest, 
most patient, most just sophisticated lady in the game. I mean, I don't know how she keeps it up, but she has blessed me with their new stick called Solas. So I have a Robusto, a Gordo, and a Churchill. Can't wait. So normally I'm addicted to the Tomo 2. Um, just recently kind of been smoking a lot of the Golden Age. Uh, the blend number 7 is good too, but like I said, normally the Tomo 2 is my favorite. So I'm excited to see what the new do. Totally forgot. So let me show them together. What I do with it? Okay, so I'm gonna show these together. This is the Devil Claro Habana that I smoked a couple of weeks ago. So it's a uh, one part Habano and then second part Claro. So the green. I have three Gurkhas and none of these three I've ever tried not one one is the Gurkha ghost one is the age 15 year and then I have the age 12 I also have a Sinistro honor among thieves that's actually a LA based cigar so they produce their brand over at La Aurora. and last but not least so actually it's not last um, for all you guys out there that have bought every box of LFD's bull I'm so happy that you're happy and holding them really really tight but I felt a little left out I've never smoked a bull. And while everybody in the universe who owns a box or two, or I know a couple of people that own three, and they're real stingy. So my good friend Antonio blessed me with a bull. So I don't know how many of you guys have smoked this. I know how many people I know have smoked it. And it is a conversation that I cannot be a part of. But you just wait wait on it i'm not gonna smoke this in a crowd i'm not gonna smoke this with my friend i'm gonna smoke this by myself with some bourbon or some whiskey and just vibe out i'll let you know how it goes so i have this really beautiful bag from mumbacho and i'd actually never heard of mumbacho before um coming to IPCPR. So this is their really nice bag here. There's a Hobacho Liga Maestro. There is a Casa Favili. And then the uh, Granada Nicaragua and uh, the, the Terra I want to say Volcano but that might not be right here we go and so listen I get real excited when people want to give me drinks or should I say libations from other countries or other places it kind of gives you an opportunity to feel like you've traveled somewhere when you haven't so over at the Mombacho station was the Diplomatico rum I have never had this I could not there was no drinking on the job but I got some shots so I'll be drinking this with my Mombacho last bag in here we have Sereno cigars. And by the way, I've smoked the Sereno on my review. 
This is actually the Robusto, which is one of my favorite sizes. Robusto, I like box press. I'm not, I haven't really gotten into Lancero yet, but Robusto's box press are my favorite. So, Sereno actually has their fairly new cigar uh, called Taino. Taino. I don't know if you can see that really beautiful artwork here. It's really nice. That's spearheaded by Carson Sereno. Then I have the Avo. Now, never smoked an Avo. So you guys have to tell me if you guys think this is any good. This sticks just smell so good. All right, guys. Big Poppy, we love you. So I've smoked a Big Poppy before. Went to Columbia. I waited to have the Big Poppy by El Artista for vacation. It was very nice. Had a little spice to it. Went real well with my grilled island fish and pineapple. This too, I believe, is a 60 by 70. So. Needless to say, I'll be upping my uh, smoking ring gauge quite a few times really soon. And also, by El Artista, I have a Buffalo 10. This is one of their new sticks. Also, box press. All right, M Cigar by Sister of the Leaf. Well, it's not by her. But she reps it. She's fabulous. Has the best curly hair I've ever seen on a head. It's beautiful. Uh, I have Nova the Sultran. I got this from Cigar Blondie. She's amazing. I also have two Camacho. Now, I've never smoked Camacho. I'm going to have a lot of firsts. Okay, come in out of this IPCPR, and I'm really excited because when you smoke as many sticks as I've smoked, trying to find my taste and palate, the common denominator between the things that I like to smoke, there's always something new. So, come on, y'all. So, the red one is aged six months, the orange is six or well, five months. Yeah. Last but not least, for real this time. <laughs> for real this time. So when I went to Pro Cigar, I was told that Carl Malone was coming out with a stick, right? So he has this stick, there's this rum, all that loud oil. Please, please. Please do yourself a favor. If you can get your hands on this rum, it will bless your life. Okay? Bless your life. So, last but not least, I have the Carl Malone. It's cute because it's kind of, obviously, it's orange. Kind of reminiscent of a basketball. Circular motion here. It's barrel aged with rum, of course. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, actually, it also has this basketball number on it. Look at that. Nice touch. All right, guys. I believe that is all of the treats that I have for you. I have no idea how many sticks uh, I showed you. It was a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of smoking to do, a lot of catching up to do. Um, but hopefully... You'll be along the journey with me.